It's Friday, time for another episode of Ever Roaming. For the best tips, tricks, and gear reviews for section hiking the PCT, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell down there so you get notified when I put out a new video, hopefully every Friday. Okay, so this week um, we are in my kitchen. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. A few weeks back, one of my subscribers reminded me that I was gonna make an electrolyte video or how to make your own electrolytes. Um, so that's why we're in the kitchen today. I have a kind of a bright light, hopefully it's not too glaring, but I want you guys to be able to see really well as I make this. Um, so I realized when I went to the store and was like looking for electrolyte powders, um, there's a lot of choices and they're kind of expensive for what's in them. Um, and then I'm gonna post some information here and I'll talk about that as well. Um, so the, the basics that are in there when you read the back of them is gonna be magnesium, sodium, calcium, sugar, salt, um, and then some of them have potassium, and I'm not gonna recommend putting in certain things like sodium bicarb, um, which is basically baking soda, or potassium, because what if somebody's pH got off or um, they took too much potassium, because you're making this at home. Um, and I don't want somebody to have heart problems from it, you know, if their kidney function's not great. So as a nurse, I am not gonna condone adding potassium or sodium bicarb. But I will show you what is safe, um, and as long as you use it correctly, um, it's very helpful and I've been using this and oh my gosh, you know when you sweat out there I don't know if you've been if you've been hiking enough to, to see when you start sweating There's like white rings on like your clothes and like your backpack um, And that's basically all the salts that you're sweating out of your body So it's really important to replace your electrolytes um, If you're somebody who gets a lot of leg cramps like you wake up in the middle of the night with a lot of leg cramps when you're backpacking or you get really um, tensed up um, a lot of times that is the lack of electrolytes and usually it's your salt and water balance, which are really important for your nerve health, your muscle health. So I'm gonna show you some, an option of how to do this at home uh, and a lot less expensive. Before I make the electrolyte powder, I wanted to tell you guys some exciting news. You know, I love sharing. Um, so the PCT put up a notice about a week or so ago, sent out an email, and they said that they now support um, day hikes and short um, multi-day hikes where you are self-supported, so not going into town and getting resupplies or coming in contact with people. Um, for me, that means a small section hike. So I'm gonna be going out this next week. Um, I, hopefully I will get a video up next Friday, um, but it's gonna probably be some of the older stuff that I've done. Uh, but I hopefully will get a video up when I get back. If not, bear with me, I will get some videos up the following week. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna go do a little section in the local mountains here in LA. Um, and I, I can't wait. I need to feel the trail under my feet. If you're like me, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so anyway, now, uh, without further ado, let's get to making electrolyte powder. All right, welcome to my kitchen counter. <laughs> a few things that you're gonna need for this. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of the ingredients that you'll find in these fancy electrolyte powders um, is calcium. These are just normal supplements and, that I've gotten, you know, that I take. Um, magnesium, uh, just your normal, ordinary kitchen table salt. Um, you can use fancy Mediterranean salt if you prefer, or like a sea salt. Um, and then you need sugar, regular granulated sugar, and a mortar and pestle. I think I said that correctly. The thing for sm smashing. <laughs> and um, a large spoon. I don't have like a scientific way of measuring this. I just sort of guesstimate like what I know works for me. Um, I do not recommend putting vitamins in here because vitamins have a very pungent taste. Um, this electrolyte powder has zero taste, uh, which I like because when you add it to your water, you're not like ugh, <laughs> forcing yourself to drink it. Okay, so some things to note about calcium and magnesium. Calcium can actually constipate you, uh, so drink a lot of water, um, and magnesium can actually make you go, <laughs> so uh, very easily. Um, so there's kind of a balance with these. All right. The calcium, um, I usually put, because these are large ones, these have vitamin D in them. Um, and this is, I'm gonna have to get my glasses, give me a sec. 
All right, glasses on. Okay, so this one is 500 milligram of calcium. And then it just has a little bit of vitamin D, but you're out there in the sun, you're gonna be getting some serious vitamin D. So um, I am gonna make it with two of these, so a thousand milligrams. I'm gonna put that into my mortar. And then um, the magnesium, usually I put a thousand. Um, when I got these, they were only 200 milligrams. So we're gonna put uh, two, four, five of these in. I like to balance the two. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's 1,000 milligrams of magnesium and 1,000 milligrams of calcium. And we have the bonus with the calcium of that little bit of vitamin D. Okay, so you can see those are in there. Okay, and then we have sugar and salt. Now, I like a little bit of sugar because it just sort of like energizes you and keeps you going. Um, I would recommend like mass quantities of sugar. Um, and then salt, I'm telling you, <laughs> you are gonna sweat out so much salt. You'll see basically salt rings on everything you own um, that comes in contact with your body. So this is the thing you really need to replace. And the, one of the important things too about the salt is there's a, if you know science, salt follows water. So if you have enough sodium in your body, you're gonna, you're gonna retain water. This is why we tell people with high blood pressure to avoid large quantities of salt because you retain water and that increases blood pressure. Um, but you're gonna be out there hiking, drinking a ton of water and sweating. Um, but if you do have high blood pressure, I would consult your physician before you try this. Okay, so instead of me just pouring it in, I'm gonna put, I usually just do this in my hand and I just sort of eyeball it. And this is going to get really ground down. So for now, I'm gonna do about one very large tablespoon. And then I do about two times the amount of sugar because you don't want this to taste salty either. So I'm going to do, this is the sugar, do one. You don't want it too sweet in your mouth either. And two. Now, this next part is very long. <laughs> and I will here, speed up the video here. So you're gonna grind this until it's a super fine powder. And I will show you that. Sometimes these do not want to break down, so I'm going to try to help them. Oh. And if you're a little stronger than I am, you could probably smash them in here, but I'm gonna make this a little bit easier on myself. smash and grind this until it becomes a really fine powder so it disintegrates and dissolves into your water.
see it's coming along just a tiny bit more. I want this really fine. So I'm actually grinding the salt and the sugar as well as the magnesium and the calcium. starting to change sort of sounds soft instead of that grating sound that means you're getting most of the crystals um, ground up see if I hear that I know there's still a little bit more on the bottom but the bulk of it you hear it's getting softer and you can see that light little bit of powder dust um, so it's almost there powder that is going to easily absorbed into water. Now I'll show you about how much to use and how I do that. Oh, and so when you're done with it, um, I just put it into a little Ziploc bag like this. Okay, you've probably seen in some of my videos, I carry a uh, smart water bottle up on the front um, on my strap. Um, this is a uh, 700 milliliter. Um, so what I do is this is dedicated as my electrolyte water and this is the water that I'm usually sipping on trail and then I'll stop and also have regular water because you do need to have both. You don't want to just drink electrolyte water. Uh, so I carry this one up front with my electrolytes in it and what I do to measure it out, this is not rocket science, um, is I will take the cap itself, it has a, like a squirt top, um, I take the cap and I just take about, oh, about that much in the cap. And then I pour this into the water. I have overdone this. I've kind of figured it out over time. I also once um, mixed up my um, electrolyte powder and my powdered milk that I carried in my coffee. That's why I now put it in my coffee. <laughs> and that was an interesting um, swap. So give it a really, really good shake. Actually, it looks like I probably could have ground just a tiny bit more. It's probably the calcium and the magnesium tablets that still have a little bit. And then you have electrolyte water. Let me see how this tastes. Shouldn't be too sweet, shouldn't be too salty. Perfect, tastes like nothing. You just get the little hint of it and that's it. Perfect, ready to go. All right, so I hope um, this video helped you out so you know how to make your own electrolyte powder now and um, how electrolytes on trail. Um, I want to thank the person who uh, reminded me that I said I was going to do a video on how to make electrolyte powder. I was just looking through, went and looked through the comments and I can't find the person who said it, but I want to say thank you to that person. Um, and also if any of you want me to like go over something that I have or review something or give you some information on, um, on something, planning, uh, food, gear, whatever, um, just let me know and I'll make a video for you. You never know. <laughs> so I hope you like this one and I will see you next time.